So I wanted to kind of do a video on making your own timing tape. Um, I've done this many times to uh, for either when my car doesn't have or the car I'm working on doesn't have uh, timing marks on the harmonic balancer or um, I also use it to check timing marks on balancers. Sometimes they're not quite right. They're just they're about 8 to 10 degrees off and it really shows when I can't get something run and I uh, make my tape and put it on and then set the uh, timing with my tape and it runs a lot better because according to the tape that's actually how it should be so anyway um, you can also buy I think timing tape but you know you're always messing with your diameters of your balancer and it might not be just right so it's uh it's always best kind of make your own I've always had pretty good luck with that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how to do that okay so the first thing you want to do is find the di diameter through the center of your harmonic balancer so from end to end going through the center the di the diameter of my harmonic balancer is six inches now what you want to do with this number is then multiply this by 3.14 pi and um, that gives you the circumference which is the distance around the circle of your you know harmonic balancer so since your har harmonic balancer is a circle and it has 360 degrees around it you then divide that by uh, dividing that by 10 gives you 36 degrees so what you'll do is after you find your uh, your 6 times 3.14 once you find that value you'll divide that by 10 and then that number that it gives you which in my case is 1.88 is um, 36 degrees advance so from my timing mark on the beginning of my balancer if I measure from there and then 1.88 or 1.9 degrees from there is 36 degrees so what I like to do to do this is oops so I like to take, I don't know if I can show this, but uh, I like to take a string and pull it tight and mark it at the, uh, the correct distance of what I calculated. Now what I do with this string after I've marked it with a mark like so is I'll take the string and lay it onto some masking tape and what I'll do is obviously I'll start at the beginning here of the tape make a mark and then make another mark on the tape now you don't want to tear at these points you'd want to tear somewhere down here in this area so after I've made those two marks so the top mark where the string starts will be a uh, top dead center you want to put that with your uh, top dead center line on your balancer and then your mark when pulled tight will be your 36 degrees now naturally you just have to uh, divide that by half and that's 18 degrees and if you divide 18 the number that you get when you divide to get 18 degrees when you divide that that'll be your 9 degrees and um, and likewise from 36 to uh, 27 degrees and then the numbers in between those you can figure out as well so I'll post the math in the description but and it's basically just that simple and then you'll have your timing marks written down on your uh, um, piece of tape here and then you'll just stick your you'll wipe down your harmonic balancer and stick this tape on now you can clear it on there if you really want I just do it temporarily so I'm not too concerned if it falls off but if you really don't want to clear it or paint it I guess you can borrow your girlfriend's uh, <laughs> nail polish clear nail polish and paint over it a little bit but um Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and make one here and show you guys what the final product kind of looks like. Okay, so here's kind of the idea. Again, I want to mention that you don't want the 36 degrees to be right at the tear. You want to tear after that. So, And same with your top dead center mark. So basically, as I said, I got my, uh, my calculated 
36 degrees from my circumference value which was 1.9 and I divide that by 2 and then that gives me my um, where my 18 degree mark goes and then I'll just divide that value by 2 again and then I know where 9 is and then that the value in between those two you would just add to this value and it would give you your 27 and then you do the same with all the points in between so that's pretty much how I do it and you'll just take this and stick it on your balancer and then you'll just use the standard timing light from like eBay you know fifteen dollars I think they cost usually for a, a acceptable one and you can uh, go ahead and check the timing on and set the timing on whatever vehicle that you're working on so anywho that's just kinda how to do that I wanted to make mention because I use this trick a lot so there you have it